<laughs> they and write the serial number. <laughs> <laughs> um, your name and class year? Uh, my name is Pete Milano, and uh, class of 1955, good old PU, and a lifelong member of Princeton Project 55 also. Okay. And can you describe why you got involved with Project 55? Well, <clears throat> I was there at the beginning, the famous meeting in Washington, D.C. in 1989. And it occurred to me as a result of uh, Ralph's talk at the luncheon we had on that Saturday and the debate we had after his talk uh, about what we as a class and as individuals uh, might contribute to the uh, civic engagement of undergraduates at Princeton and also give back to Princeton in some other way than monetary means uh, that was consistent with, with its motto, uh, Princeton in the nation's service and the service of all nations, that uh, I could in some way contribute to that effort. And I was especially attracted, I think, to uh, get involved because I thought it was really a great opportunity to get to know classmates that I knew peripherally but really hadn't spent a lot of time socializing with. Uh, I felt that it was a way to get reconnected to the undergraduates at Princeton. And it was a way for me to get, uh, in, get involved in a commitment to public service, which I really kind of avoided most of my business career. Uh, not deliberately, but just because of the press of uh, the kind of work I did for most of my life. And I must say that after uh, the last 20 years, uh, each of those expectations has been achieved as far as I'm concerned. And uh, it's turned out to be the most satisfying thing I've done since my retirement. What is your current involvement with Project 55? Well, I'm no longer a, uh, an active uh, elected board member, but I did serve for a number of years and and I've been able to uh, participate in other ways, fundraising for one, on a couple of the committees, uh, been involved most uh, recently in the uh, naming committee, which uh, worked on uh, the name change issue that, that we're all familiar with now. And uh, I consider myself a, a resource for the staff or anybody else who uh, needs an extra hand you know, when it's necessary. So, having served on the board and as the president for a, a number of years, I think the experience I can offer now, uh, you know, as a non-active board member, uh, I think is still worth something. Can you say thank you? Well, uh, as I said before, uh, I really, it's hard, it's hard to express the kind of satisfaction and, and reward that I've had, as have a lot of other uh, members of my class, for what Project 55 has given to me and to them in terms of a renewed commitment uh, to the public interest, a renewed commitment to Princeton University because I've always felt that Princeton Project 55 was going to add luster and, and, uh, and more integrity to the uh, university. And I think that's the way it's turned out. So uh, I would just say that I can't think of any other organization that I would have rather associated myself with over the last 20 years that would have satisfied what my expectations were when I started. And for that, I have to give credit to those uh, members of the class of 55 that saw fit to join together and get this, get this show on the road 20 years ago. Great. And uh, <coughs> can you say to the camera, happy 20th anniversary, Princeton Project 55. Happy 20th anniversary, Project 55. <laughs> it's been a great run. Let's keep it going. And um, can you say... Uh, can you describe in three words what Project 55 means to you or um, what you think Project 55 means? Well, 
I think Project 55 means to me uh, Princeton University. It means a commitment to the public interest, and it means continuity of alumni activity uh, on behalf of the university and the young folks who go to our, our uh, great university right now. All right.